Um, so today I want to talk to you a little bit about how people's brains work and how that can affect how you how you run your marketing. Um, what most people do is they operate their lives on uh, 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 in a way that they're almost asleep. Have you ever driven to the office, for example, uh, and you get there and you go, oh my God, I don't even remember the last 10 minutes. And that's because we, we operate most of our lives with our brains in what's called alpha mode, where you're just uh, on autopilot. And, and if, we, if we didn't do that, our brains would be an overload. Uh, think about the first time that you ever drove a car. Were you totally actively engaged and, and really trying to uh, think about everything, you know, every move of the signal light and, and your steering wheel and, and everything you do? And think about now in your life. Do you think about all those things? No, you just do them automatically. And that's because we're geared to be able to do the things we do on a regular basis without really thinking actively about them. And so we're sort of on autopilot. So in, able to, in order to make marketing work, you have to snap people out of that alpha mode and into beta mode. Uh, at least that's what we call it. Um, and beta mode is when people are actively engaged and thinking about what it is that you're trying to talk to them about. So um, if, um, if you're able to do that, then now you can educate them. You can, you can sell to them. Um, but if you don't do that, then you miss out on all of it. And we have something in our brain called the reticular activator. And the reticular activator is something that's always looking for things that are familiar or congruent or, or maybe that can help solve a problem. And if you don't interrupt people from what they're thinking about now and, and engage the reticular activator, you never get a chance to market to them. So when you're thinking about marketing, the first thing you need to think about is trying to interrupt and engage people. Stop them from what they're currently thinking about. So if you're doing social media advertising, you need to stop the scroll. If you're doing search advertising, you need to be able to stop them from going past your ad to the next person. If you're um, doing radio, you need to interrupt their, their listening patterns and engage them. Give them the promise that if they keep listening, watching, looking, or if they click through, that they're going to get information that's going to help them. And then give it to them. And if you can do it that way, you're going to convert way, way more people rather than just the generic stuff I see out there. Here's who we are. Here's what we do. Buy from us for no apparent reason. And uh, so keep that in mind that, that people's brains need to be snapped out of their autopilot and into an engaged mode before you even have the opportunity to do anything with them. If you have any questions about marketing and how, um, how that might uh, work for you, DM me or uh, click on the link in my bio and I'd be glad to meet with you and, and talk to you a little bit about uh, uh, how that uh, might fit into your marketing plan. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.